Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed Makes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this really cool dice tower out of some leftover fence board, some chipboard gears. You can use regular dice, or if you have specialty dice, it works a little extra, works really well as well. Join me as I show you how to make this really fun dice tower. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take all of these pieces, and these are all boards from leftover fence board, and we're gonna sand them, and then we're gonna put them together to make our dice tower. And then we're gonna do this off camera, and then using a dowel rod to place inside, which is what's gonna tumble the dice as they fall down. All right, so let's put it together and show you how it looks. All right, so here is a dice tower. As you can tell, this bottom board, fence board, I have not sanded because we're gonna be putting felt on the bottom to help protect it. And so here is all of it. So it's a great way to upcycle some of your cool things. And as you can see on the inside, some of the dowel rods are there. So all the little dowel rods that are in there that are poking, and there's a few of them. As you take your dice and tumble them down, they tumble so that way it becomes a dice roller for you. So it's pretty cool. It's just, it's a fun little thing. And then obviously a little catch down here at the bottom. All right, so now that this is all assembled, the next step is to paint it. I'm just gonna take some acrylic paint from Plaid, the folk art paint, just folk art acrylic paint in black. And I've watered it down a bit, so it's gonna act a little bit more like a stain so we can still see that wood grain. So just a little bit of water, a little bit of paint, I'm using a big, nice flat brush. And probably gonna give this one to two coats, just depending on how I like it and make sure I get it painted all over, give it beautiful. You can really do it any color you want, but my son wanted his in black. I'm not gonna worry about doing right here because we're gonna put felt, and I don't need to worry about the bottom because again, that's a felt again. So keep painting and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I'm gonna use the Folk Art Treasure Gold to paint all of these beautiful gears. All These are all chipboard gears. And I'm gonna show you the special use of this amazing brush. This is brush is so cool. So place my paint inside of my paint palette and I'm going to dab my paint brush and make sure I get paint in all the little nooks and crannies. This is a stipple brush. It's a dynasty brush. It is absolutely awesome. And then you're going to take your first gear and let's go with this little guy right here. And you basically just tap, tap, tap. And the larger bristles are going to get all the way into the outside. When you feel like you've done one side, you flip it around and tap, tap, tap. And it'll get in all those little nooks and crannies. And it's a perfect for getting paint on little pieces like this that have lots of little nooks and crannies. You don't need a ton of paint on there. You're just gonna tap, tap, tap. And if it has a little bit of a stipply look to it or a little bit of like a, it's not super flat, you know what? I think it just adds the charm of the gears, which I love. And if I happen to come across a gear that has little extra pieces inside, I'll just take a little sharp pokey tool like this and just pop them out. You could leave them, totally up to you. It's really, you make this however you want to. Coming in, once you get all the little pieces out, dab, 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 and then just place off to the side all the ones that are finished, and then you keep on going. Okay, so I've taken these three colors. We've got two color shifts and also this folk art red paint, all from Plaid, and created my own paint color. And from this, I've already done, painted the front side. I'm gonna paint the back side of these wings because they're gonna be sticking off the edge of our dice tower. And the paint matches as close as I could, just so I had to mix the paint together. The felt that is gonna be on the inside of the dice tower, where the dice kind of pop out, that kind of softens the sound of the dice. So this is gonna get painted right here. The other side already got painted. Wait for that to dry, and then we're gonna put the whole thing together. So now it's time to cut the felt. That is gonna go onto the bottom of the dice tower. So it is four and a quarter wide. So measuring that out. And this is Kunin felt, which is gonna give it a nice soft edge as it goes down. And then it's six and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And I'm just doing a pretty ballpark, mostly so it doesn't scratch any tables that's on, give a nice solid piece. So here's the first one. And next is the inside piece that's gonna be going inside of the dice tower. And it measures about three and a quarter inches. And this is just some leftover bits that I had in my stash. I just love this Merlot wine, it's so pretty. And the next measurement is right at the four inch marker. So now it's time to glue everything together. I'm just gonna use some Beacon 3-in-1 glue. It's got a really good all-purpose stick to it. So everything is gonna to stick together nicely and then place the felt. I'm gonna go to the front first. That's the part that I need to make sure is really nice and snug. So really get that front in and then just fill in the rest of it. 
So now I measured it nicely. It fits in wonderfully. So last bit is placing the, the bottom so it doesn't rub and cause problems as it's on the table when you're using it. Just add glue going all the way around. This is a multi-purpose glue, so it's really gonna bond even with wood and felt and everything together, it'll do just fine. And so I measured everything correctly, which I just did. It'll fit on there beautifully. I'm gonna start with one side here and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the piece that I want. I know this is my beginning piece. So we're gonna place this here, place a little bit of glue onto the back side to make sure that this is stuck down nicely and pull lace it. And we're gonna I'm show you what the rest of it looks like after I put this one piece down. So this goes right here. And I want to make sure I'm totally fine if it comes out the back side or if it kind of comes off. What I don't want it to do is to impede the sitting on the ground. So make sure that it does not get below this line. If it comes up here, totally fine. It looks awesome. We want to cover up some of the holes where we put the pegs, fill up all of it. So it looks kind of like that. And the gold and the black look awesome. So now that I have that, add a little bit of glue and glue these parts down. So I'm gonna keep on doing this to the other side as well. And I'll come back and show you what the front looks like and how we put the front together. So just continuing to glue down all the pieces that are gonna go onto the front. And then I'm gonna place my wings on here. So there they go, it's be kind of a cool piece that goes on the front. So make sure I add enough glue going all the way down the length of the wings. Again, don't worry about the fact that there's no paint on that section because nobody's ever gonna see it. It's gonna hide. And then my last gear on the front there. So it is all done, it is ready to go. I'm just gonna test my dice. Now these are some dice that my son has for some of his uh, games. And oh, there we go, one last one came through. But if you're also a board gamer, regular dice work as well. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell button and links for all the supplies I'm using down below. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye everybody. All right, oh, crud. Oopsies. <laughs> Oh, gross.